Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It is Wednesday, December 22nd, 2022. My name's Jennifer Cotton, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. Sorry, I forgot my volume was turned up on my iPad. Um, anyway, good morning, everybody. It looks like I have closed captions on my video. That's cool. Um, my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. Um, so thank you guys for being here. I saw lots of people say hi before I actually um, turned it on my face. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know if it's letting me go back all the way. Good morning, Jewel and Terry. Merry Christmas. Hey, Carol in Connecticut, Stella, Merry Christmas, um, Carol shared, oh, can y'all hear me? I hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, hmm. Now I'm worried you can't hear me. Merry Christmas. Hello, Dorothy. Hey, Cindy. Tell me if you can hear <laughs> Um, Debbie Jennings. Okay, thank you, Stella. Because uh, y'all know I, you couldn't hear me last week. And we did a lot of work, and it says my microphone's working. So, thank goodness. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. I love seeing you guys on here, and Happy New Year. Okay, so I'll continue saying hi. I got very scared. Um, and I didn't do anything to generate the captions. Um, and I don't know if everyone can see that. So, um, anyway, so I don't know if everyone can see that is what my point. Okay, Liz, good morning. Let's see who else here. Cindy, Linda Hodge, hey, hey, Debbie, um, hey, Pat, thank you, Stella and Cindy, <laughs> hey, Dorothy and Landa and Carol, hey, Terry, thank you very much. Um, thanks, everybody, for saying you can hear me. Hey, Sandy, good morning. No oh, my goodness. I think my watch just said that. <laughs> Maybe they thought I said the S word. Um, hey, Pam. Hey, Cindy. Liz can hear me now. Hey, Dorothy. Kathy. Terry says no captions. It's interesting. It could be my iPad updated or something. I have no idea, but it's pretty cool. Um, hey, Linda. All right. So welcome, everybody. Thank you, guys. Hopefully I have my problems from last week fixed. We shall see how this works out. Um, I am going to make actually four cards for you today using the Friendly Hello. Uh, I, call it, I am calling it a bundle from Stampin' Up! So this is a new product coming out, and it, it will include a pack of designer paper. It's called Friendly Hello Stamp Set and Designer Paper. And I, or uh, they will be free with a $50 purchase, yay, in, I mean, a $100 purchase, Lord. I can't, I need to get it together. I got so thrown off about the sound <laughs> and the, the um, captions are throwing me off just because I'm like, what's happening? Um, okay. Two items free with a $100 purchase in January. Starts January 4th. I'll tell you more about that when we stamp. Um, the cards I'm making today, there's four of them, are from my team party and meeting last month, or this month in December. But it's been almost a month since we had it. So um, I'm doing that because I was very busy this week, as you guys can imagine. And uh, they were already designed. Their new product, which is what I wanted to show. And I had an extra pack cut. So um, if you were part of my team party, which lots of people were, you have seen these cards. But for anyone who's not, um, you'll get to see them. And I didn't do a video demonstration for the party. So hopefully all that is good. Okay, so... Um, as you come on, say hi, like lots of people have already, because that will get you entered to win these four cards. Hey, Lori, good morning. Hey, Sarah. Thank you, Terry, for the compliment. 
Um, so just by saying hi on YouTube or Facebook, on replay or watching live, all of those count. And then in addition, if you share the video, comment that you shared like lots of people have, and thank you guys very much. Hey, Robin, good morning. And that will get you entered again. Both of those things help me and my business. They, um, you know, get the word out to more people. So I appreciate it very much. So that's just a small way to say thanks, doing that drawing. Hey, Susie. Hey, Shirley. Good to see you guys. Um, so do that. And then also on YouTube, you can give a thumbs up and um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay. So upcoming events, um, I have a little graphic that I should be able to use now. Um, this, I'm actually not going all, over all of these events right now, but at the top in yellow, you will see all classes, all events that I offer include a PDF tutorial, everything cut, die cut, punched, embossed, possible other than designer series paper which you will um, cut yourself if it's included with the class fee if we just give it you know give you one little piece we cut that and um, everything's offered in the United States to go most are offered with PDF tutorial only and then some are offered in person here in Texas I'm from Texas by the way um, so that's the part I really want to share there. And then, but the real quick, the January classes will be January 15th in person. To go or pick up will be ready by January 17th. And these are every month I offer four classes. Um, card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack class, and sampler class. I have not picked my product yet. You know, so what bundles and stamp sets we'll be using, but that will be announced by January 1st. I've just been very busy. And, um, but you can see prices and dates here. So you're going to register for card and scrapbook by January 13th. They're $15 free with a $20 order. Stamp a stack and sampler. Register by, oh, it's got the wrong date on there. It should be January um, 12th, I believe. Let me look at my calendar real quick. And uh, January 9th, it's always a week before the live date. So January 9th, register. And the those are $30 and $28, and they include $20 in merchandise. Okay, so class information, um, registration links, of course, for those will come out later once I have set it up and decided what product I'm using. And don't forget um, to sign up for my email newsletter. That's how the easiest way for you to get those notifications and uh, links and all that stuff. Hey, Martha, good morning. Martha, Martha. I love your little um, coffee cup, Martha. <laughs> um, thank you, Terry, on the graphics. You know, I was stressed about those graphics last week. <laughs> um, okay, so I talked about those. New catalog kickoff. Okay, I have a graphic for this one. So this is showing you the product I will be using in this class that is offered in person or to go. So from the picture, you can see the Crane of Fortune stamp set. Um, and of course it's like a collage, so you can see a little corner of it. And that's actually a bundle. The Slim Sayings bundle, so we'll be making some Slim cards at the new catalog kickoff in person or to go. Happy Hedgehogs. There's a very loud vehicle outside my door. Do y'all hear it? Like a motorcycle. Right out by my garage, which is where I am. Um, Happy Hedgehogs, which is a punch you see up in the top right hand corner and a stamp set and then Catching Butterflies, which is a celebration stamp set. And then, of course, I'll be using the coordinating papers that go with those and embellishments at minimum, probably more. I know. Love the hedgehogs, right, Lori? So that's what we'll be using. So more info about that event. You can sign up for it by January 2nd. So it's not that long. Um, I scheduled more emails to go out about it because I was behind on that. So they, and I posted in my VIP group, lots of places to sign up, but you can also always contact me for the link. Um, you will want those four bundles or stamp sets to do your project. So you can order them when you register or supply them yourself or substitute. And then um, 
That's if you're not taking it in person. And then you'll stamp and assemble at home with that PDF tutorial. The live event is Saturday, January 8th in DeSoto, Texas. And of course, anyone can come. Anyone can take it to go. There's also product with your fee. Um, there is a door prize entry, stamping demonstrations, all kinds of benefits when you take this class. So any questions, let me know. All right, next up, retreats. I've been mentioning these on all my Facebook Lives, but just to make sure you know, we have in-person retreats, me and my retreat partner. The next one that we have open spots for is May 12th through 15th in Temple, Texas, and then also August 11th through 14th in Temple, Texas. So we have a scrapbook or a uh, retreat. Sorry, the retreats are not just scrapbooking. They're any crafting. A retreat Facebook group that you can join and it's called Simply Spoiled Retreats Facebook group and there is a link to that in this video description and there will be one on YouTube so you can join that group get more details and links um, you can also always contact me um, but we have card swaps we have product there you can use we have optional massages all your meals are provided you get gifts from us all weekend a $50 goodie bag 10 make and takes a bed and more. And then um, you can also take the retreats to go, which will be offered closer to retreat gate dates, not gates. Um, next up, paper and ribbon share. So for this, um, you are going to get, if you participate, there are eight new designer papers, three new specialty papers, a total of 34 six by 12. That's a bonus. Most people do six by six. We give you 12 inches of paper. So 34 six by 12 and 24 six by six. If you take the paper share, if you do the ribbon share, there are seven new ribbons, 17 and a half yards total because we give you two and a half yards of each. Um, and then you can add on the party when you register and that will give you eight make and takes, video instruction, PDF tutorial, a gift, uh, door prize entries, Facebook party, bonus videos with additional projects, and that is with Alejandra Gomez and me. We both run that event. So it happens on a Facebook party January 22nd, but it's all recorded. No need to be there in person, and you need to register for any of this by January 12th. So there's different prices. It's only $20 extra. Let me go back to my face. It's only $20 extra to add the party. The share, oh, let me find my other paper. Um, paper share is only $40. And ribbon share is only $22.50. And then you can add shipping when you register as well. All right, let me see who I've missed here. Susie, thank you for sharing. And I think I said hi, but <laughs> hey, Mary Ann, Merry Christmas. Hello. Thank you for being here. Hey, Jerry Ann. Um, I mean, Jerry, G Ann. I don't even think I saw the name Jerry on there. <laughs> um, hey, G Ann. And who else? Thank you, Martha. Hey, Lori. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. Hey, Cindy. Thanks for sharing. And Martha. Um, Merry Christmas, Hannah. Hello. Just talked to you today. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Terry. Uh, yes, I do have bingo coming up, actually. I am still have more stuff to list. Okay, so any questions on the share, paper share, let me know. Paper or ribbon. Uh, by the way, if you take the party, we recommend you take the ribbon share because that's the ribbon we'll be using in the projects. But if you don't, you can just substitute. Um, so coming soon is the, sorry, um, get ready for spring stamp camp with Genevieve. So that will be offered in Canada and the United States States watch for info, but that will happen on February 26 and the March retreat in a box will be coming out soon as well using flowering fields. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Um, okay. Next up on our screen is the mega cruise retreat in a box. I strongly recommend you get this. Look at this picture. This shows you what stamps we're going to use and kind of a sneak peek of your goodie bag. So you don't get the stamps and 
dies with your goodie bag. They are sold separately or you supply your own. You only get consumable items, $150 worth. Now, there is one exception, that friendly hello stamp set, which I'm using today, you do get free with your ultimate cruise retreat in a box. So, our real cruise is January 30th, 2022, out of Galveston, Texas, Western Caribbean, on Liberty of the Seas. And you have very little time to sign up for that, but you can still sign up. But you can take this to go. You're going to get over six, I mean, you're going to get six amazing classes with multiple projects. So, tons of projects, PDF tutorial, the Friendly Hello stamp set, and Friendly Hello designer paper, and then, again, 150 in merchandise. You can kind of see a sneak peek of the product here. But the stamps we will be using that you'll want to supply if you don't have are Hello Beautiful, that bundle, Artfully Layered Bundle, and Sweet Conversations Bundle. Okay, so hopefully um, that helps you kind of see what that's all about. Um, you also get gifts. You get a bag. It's amazing. So I strongly recommend that one. Sign up for that retreat or join that retreat Facebook group, Simply Spoiled Retreats, or just sign up for my email newsletters. Okay, um, as Terry asked, um, Daffodil Daydream Card Class with Games, which also is bingo, is happening not until March 10th. So that's kind of a mark your calendars kind of event. But on March 10th, we will have... a uh, a card, a yes, card class where we will make cards with Daffodil Daydream. Anyone in the U.S. can take this. It's all online. It's on Zoom, and um, we you get to stamp together if you choose. Some people don't stay for the stamping portion, or um, just watch me stamp. You get your PDF tutorial. Get get everything cut and mailed to you. Product with your fee, and you get to play games for hundreds of dollars in door prizes. So that. The link is out there. You can register now, but you have plenty of time to sign up for that one. Um, and if our cruise sounds great, but it's too late this year, January 2023 out of Galveston, Texas, Allure of the Seas. That is your next cruise opportunity. So definitely check that out. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying, yippee, about GN, but I agree. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it's about. <laughs> Um, hey, Tammy, good morning. Rhonda, hey, good to see you. Hey, Joni. Hey, Ramona. Okay, so 12 by 12, I'm um, sorry, Terry's asking, is 12 by 12 paper included in my scrapbook club? And she's asking because I emailed about that. Thank you for reading that email, Terry. Yes, it is. Um, you do have to pay shipping, of course, if you join the club and you need it mailed to you, but um, I always mail 12 by 12. So, I I am not a type of demonstrator that says you provide your 12 by 12 because it's expensive to mail. I have boxes that fit 12 by 12 in them. Um, so that's why when you get half a pack of designer paper in one of my events, it's not a half that's cut in half. It's full 12 by 12 sheets, six of them if, if it's half a pack and so on. So great question. Thank you for asking. Um, okay, almost ready to stamp January's paper pumpkin. I have a graphic, if I can read, Paper Pumpkin. It is all about hugs and kisses, or kisses and hugs. I keep saying it backwards, of course. Um, it's not just about Valentine's Day. It works for all occasions, for all love occasions year round, like anniversaries, weddings, birthdays, or just because days. Um, there is a video with a sneak peek that I have posted in this video description, <laughs> video and video. Um, so you can get a sneak peek from Stampin' Up. It's going to include 10 um, cards and envelopes, two designs, five of each, a two-step stamp set, ooh ah, and um, what else? The cards are four and a half by four and a fourth. So if you watch that video, you can see they're a trifold heart shape. But four and a fourth is pretty big, so large heart-shaped cards. And um, what paper pumpkin is, let me grab, I still don't have mine from this month, of course y'all know, I think they're coming today based on my, um, what's that thing called, uh, USPS 
I forgot what it's called, but you can sign up for emails from them and they tell you what you're getting in the mail. I think it's coming today, but y'all know how every post office is behind. Anyway, it's a box with a stamping kit inside for anyone, new crafters. It has your ink, it has your stamp set, it has instructions, it has accessories, adhesive. There's little dimensionals in there. For this kit, you needed some tear and tape, so you have that. Again, a stamp set, and then all the uh, supplies you need to make the projects. So that's what Paper Pumpkin is. You can sign up for it by the 10th to subscribe. Informed delivery. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Um, informed delivery is just FYI, in case y'all didn't, uh, some other demonstrator in my team told me about it and it's really awesome. It's called informed delivery. You go to usps.com and sign up for that. And then they email you every day with pictures of what you're getting in the mail. It's awesome. So I'll be like, oh, I don't need to check the mail today. And then the next day I'm like, oh, Christmas cards are here. I need to check the mail today or whatever the case is. Um, or, you know, if you know you're waiting on something. So, um, let's see. I thought I saw a question. <laughs> Sign me up. I have the daffodil set and love it. Woohoo. Thank you, Terry. She says bingo's awesome. Um, Martha can't wait for paper pumpkin. It's so pretty. Hey, Betsy. But good morning, by the way. Surely for cruise, I think we have about 12 people. Um, but if you go to our cruise scrapbook, group that you're in. I mean, uh, Facebook group. I'm calling everything scrapbook today. I don't know why. Um, you'll see everyone that's going on the cruise. <laughs> They're in that group. Um, but if you need an exact number for a gift or something, just contact me privately. But y'all know pandemic, not many people want to get on a ship right now. Um, I feel pretty safe the way the cruise lines are handling it. So, and of course there's other reasons people might not want to as well. Sarah says she loves informed delivery. Yes, it's very, very helpful in my opinion. Okay, um, so Paper Pumpkin, back to that. You can register as a subscription by January 10th or you can um, just purchase it as a one-time purchase in the online store. So any questions on that, let me know. But either way, the 10th is the deadline. January 10th, no exceptions. If you don't purchase it or subscribe by the 10th, you don't get it for that month. Okay, um, specials, so I emailed a special out, I think today, free shipping offered by me only, Jennifer Cotton, um, that ends January 1st. This has to be, it's for any amount of an order, but it has to be a separate order, separate from my online ordering special, separate from classes you're in, etc. Um, but if you want to take advantage of that, for me to actually give you free shipping, you have to send me your order. You can't put it um, in the online store because they will charge you shipping. So text or email me your order for that by January 1st, and then I'll get your payment info from you. I'll need your credit card and all that stuff. So any questions, let me know. I do still, of course, though, have my online ordering special for the month, which is separate from the free shipping. And I'll tell you about that when I point the camera down. And then, um, I mean, those are the main specials going on right now. We still have our last chance list from our, where are my catalogs, holiday catalog. It's really coming up on your last chance to get this stuff. You have until January 3rd, but it's while, the things that are retiring are while supplies last. So just make sure you get those um, if you want them. The set I used last week is sold out, delivering cheer, which we knew it would. Um, so while supplies last, urgent, uh, don't miss out. You've been warned. <laughs> it's not coming back if it says it's retiring in 99% of the case. So um, that's going on. I think I'm ready to point my camera down. Let me just check the next page. Yes. Okay, so when I point it down, I'm going to show you all some Christmas cards. I'm going to show you some, um, the designer paper and ribbon. I'm not flipping through it. Don't worry. And then my online ordering special, then we'll get started stamping. So, um, the ribbon share, there's seven new ribbons. One of them we can't get yet. So I only have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've shown these on another video, but just to show you, you're going to get all these new ribbons, two and a half yards. If you do that share. 
And then on designer paper, there are three new specialty papers, which you'll get six by 12 inch pieces of. And um, there's a there's two colors in here of the glimmer. There's this gorgeous mother of pearl, which I love, and a vellum with designs on it. And then eight new designer papers. Again, I've shown, I've gone through these packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I probably, I don't know where I put the other ones. Um, I have no clue at this moment, but I've been working on swaps and upcoming events, so who knows where mine are. But there are eight new designer papers. Twelve. Oh, they're right here. Duh. They're not 12 by 12. So there's six, and then one is six by six, and one is four by six. Now, we always give you two of each of those, so you have both sides to be able to use. So, paper and ribbon share. Don't forget to sign up for that. Lots of people have signed up already, and thank you very much for that. I can't bill you for it yet per Stampin' Up! policy, but um, you can register now. And then I'll PayPal, or I will invoice you when, it's, when I'm allowed. Okay, so let me show these Christmas cards that I've received. This is from Gail. It's gorgeous. That is heat embossed um, with, that's a stamp from our annual catalog. It's just a big background stamp. Isn't that gorgeous? She did it on Evening Evergreen. All that gold. I love this gold ribbon. Oh. Um, this one is from Amy. She actually hand delivered that one. I just think it's really cute. Super cute with those penguins and stuff. Shirley gave me this one. Also gorgeous, gorgeous. If you can see, she embossed, I guess she stamped first and then embossed the background with that, I forget the name of it, but it's a musical note holder. Um, this one is from Lori. Thank you, Lori. I just show these to y'all for inspiration. Some are retired, some are stamping up, some are not. It's all good. This is from Renee. She's got like, there's layers, it's embossed, super pretty. This one is from... Oh, it's um, Mary, and I just want to show she's another one who mailed it to me in the clear envelope, so you can do that, but isn't this gorgeous from Mary? Oh, so pretty. She, this is kind of how I did use this Bright Baubles on Scrapbook Club, and she put her note on a sticky note so I could reuse the card. Thank you. This one is from Pam. So pretty. That gorgeous stuff that's all sold out practically. Linda gave me this one or sent me this one with the pets. She knows I like cats. <laughs> um, Robin sent this one. So cute. Thank you, Robin. And, oh, I have two more. Uh, Diana, The these Snowman are so cute on this card. I love how she used the pink and like balmy blue theme, blushing bright and balmy blue. And then um, Brenda J sent me this one with the super adorable cloche stuff with the sweets and treats. And she's got that music background as well. All right. Thank you guys very much. Now I can display those. I know there's more in the mail because of informed delivery, <laughs> but I haven't had time to go check my mail because y'all know I'm busy. Um, okay, this is my online ordering special. So again, it's separate from the free shipping offer, but hey, you take advantage of what you want to take advantage of. I offer lots of stuff to my customers and you can choose what you like. But this, so you see the pink host code down here in the corner, right there. Um, that ends December 31st. If you place a $25 or more online order with that host code, you will get a class kit to make these four cards. Um, everything will be cut, die cut, etc. You'll stamp and assemble. If your order is 50 or more with that host code, which again in the pink, it, you will get um, the class kit plus a free full pack of elegant faceted gems. Now, if you place an order of 150 or more, you always should not use the host code because then Stampin' Up! is going to consider you the host and give you at least $15 in free merchandise, which you can spend on host gifts, by the way, if you choose. But this month only, if you order $150 or more, um, separate from the free shipping offer, of course, then you're going to get 
all of this plus the uh, these dies for free. They are called Summer Shadows dies. They're no longer available. And they die cut out the stamps from the stamps that we're using, which is called Shaded Summer. So any questions on that, please let me know. Uh, I email. I have another email going out about that, and I have emailed about it. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at your comments. Sarah told me where my paper was. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I missed it when you said it, but you knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> um, and Shirley, you're welcome, by the way. Okay, so cards today. We are using the Friendly Hello stamp set, brand new from Stampin' Up. Let me grab the catalog. I can't, still can't open it on screen until January 4th, but it's in this book. And I actually used samples inside this book and on the outside. I don't know if we're allowed to show the back. We're probably just supposed to show the front. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But there's a sample on the back that I used for inspiration, as well as one or two on the inside. So don't forget to always use your catalogs, like I can open this one, um, as inspiration for your projects, whether you copy it exactly or just get inspired by it. Um, so anyway, but it's in this book. It's towards the end because it's free with a $100 purchase. You get Friendly Hello, and you get this full pack of Friendly Hello 12 by 12 designer paper. If you choose it, free with a $100 purchase. Because you can choose whatever you like during celebration that starts January 4th. There is no limit, and it's what you want. So I'll flip through these papers real quick, these designs, because I've shown them a couple of times on videos already. But it's super pretty. Um, I'll read the colors here in a second. But I know we've got pale papaya, granny apple green, fresh freesia, lots of flowers. There's some birds. Uh, pool party, etc. Gorgeous paper. Let's see what colors I missed. Basic black, petal pink, and shaded spruce are the other ones I missed. Although, I should have read that before because I used evening evergreen on my sample, which will be perfectly fine. But anyway, okay, so this I had an extra class packet left over from my team party, which by the way, so these are the projects from basically the team meeting for December, which is totally optional if you're in the team, but um, they're only $7 or $11 with shipping. They're optional. You don't have to buy them. They come in a baggie, of course, um, and then they have PDF instructions, but they're packaged up like this, just like my other classes. Landa, of course, does this for us. So this is how it came, and I just pulled it out because it was extra, and I'm going to use it today. So that's what I'll be using to make these projects. The first card I'm going to make is this one. Um, yeah, so I guess that's what I wanted to tell you. And, of course, anyone can be on my team by getting the starter kit through me. It's only $99. You pay, uh, it's $99 plus tax only, shipping is free, and you choose 125 of anything you want. And then you're not obligated to do stamping demonstrations or be a demonstrator or any of that stuff. Um, but you can get a discount and purchase through yourself and all kinds of perks if you want. Buy stuff early, see catalogs early, etc. Okay, so let's get started on this card. It is gar sorry, it is um, Granny Apple Green a half sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So it's cut in half here at five and a half by eight and a half. And then you just fold it in half with your bone folder. This will fit into the standard invitation size envelope, which is what size, and use the bone folder, not your finger, is what size this clear one is, which is my favorite envelopes we carry, but I'm not even keeping one of those. Oh, here's one. This is the one, Shirley. Well, it's a, Anyway, this is the size envelope I'm talking about. It's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Invitation size. I think I said that already. So we carry these envelopes. They're super nice in our catalog. So measuring and cutting for your cards is easy. Cut your paper in half, fold it in half. It fits into that size envelope, which happens to be this one. We call ours medium. So it's a medium clear envelope, medium white, medium vanilla. Okay. So this card's actually pretty simple. We do have heat embossing on it, 
And that's because the greeting needed to be on black in white. So we're going to heat emboss it. Um, but then we just have some strips here that I'll tell you about in a second. But let me go ahead and do this first. So I have my heat tool here. You do need a heat tool, not a blow dryer. Um, it has number one and two, low and high. We'll put it on number two, which is high for heat embossing. And then I have some white embossing powder. I've just transferred it to a container, kind of like a Tupperware container, but it comes in a little jar, which you can totally use it out of. And then I use a dryer sheet to remove the static from my paper. Another big tip on heat embossing is try not to touch the paper. When you grab your paper like this, and then you go to heat emboss, there are oils from your thumbs right there. And this powder sticks to the oil as if you stamped there. That's why I'm trying to touch this black paper as little as possible when I rub this dryer sheet on top. But that removes the static so that when you stamp, or sorry, when you put the powder on, the powder doesn't stick everywhere else. Okay, so on this, it's going to say, hope you, make sure I'm right. Yes, hope you have the best birthday. This is from the Friendly Hello. And I'm going to use the Versamark ink pad. Hey, Kathy, Merry Christmas. No problem watching on replay. A2 size, Sarah. Thank you. Hey, Shannon. Good morning. Hey, Jewel. Good morning. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to uh, ink this up in Versamark ink, which is a very sticky ink pad. It's also a watermark which, so you could stamp it, I can just stamp it right here because this will all get covered up on my granny apple green and you can see it's a watermark. So if I wanted to stamp a background of flowers, for example, on this green cardstock, I could just use Versamark. So you can use it on all your colored cardstock and that's it. Like it's pretty much ready to touch, it's good to go. But you can, it also stays wet long enough, even though you can touch it, it's weird. Um, for heat embossing for the powder to stick to. So I'm stamping it on this little piece of black, which I forgot to measure, so I'll measure that after. Basic black cardstock. And then I'm just going to scoop that under my white embossing powder, tap off the excess, flip it upside down, tap it some more. You can also use a little paintbrush if you have excess little pieces where you don't want them because if you don't remove them, they will become a permanent part of your card once they melt on there when you heat emboss. And then I'm gonna grab, see how I have the clothespin attached to the plug, the cord there. Um, the clothespin is to not burn yourself and that's especially important with small pieces of paper like this because it's hard to hold the paper and heat at the same time and not get burned. So I'm gonna put it on high. It'll go really fast once I, once the tool heats up and you should see it turn extra white and shiny once it's heated. So like Hope and Best right there are extra white and then you just move on. Do not keep heating where it already melted because you'll overdo it will overdo it and it will not be pretty. And then just check it and reflect it in a light you have. Make sure it's fully melted everywhere. Otherwise hit it with the heat tool one more time. Make sure it's melted um, because if it's not, later when it the Versamark dries fully and you swipe your finger across it, your powder will come off. Okay. That is the only stamping on this card. Everything else we're using ribbon and designer paper. So we have, well, first of all, let me tell you this black piece for our greeting is three fourths of an inch by two. And then we have these strips of one inch by five and a fourth from the designer paper. And of course, Landa packs them with the side up that we'll be using, but they are double sided. And then we have two strips, one inch by five and a fourth of granny apple green that have been embossed with the checks and dots embossing folder from the annual catalog. 
Now we are not, or I didn't pull all the product today to show you that folder. I've shown it many times on these videos. Um, but I just didn't pull them today because it was a lot of product to pull, which I know I normally do. But, um, and I've shown a lot of it recently. So hopefully, usually I do that for you. Any questions, just let me know. There is a full supply list that will be posted on the blog today as well. Or that's the only place, but I always do that every week. Okay, so basically we have all these strips. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two cardstock and five designer paper. And then I'll talk about those other pieces after. Basically, this is one of the cards. It's the one, let's see. Yeah, it's on the back of the catalog. If you have the celebration brochure, it's on the back. But I just um, figured it out myself and modified it a little. I didn't read any tips or anything like that. So basically, I laid these strips on here at different angles. Uh, they, of course, have to end up overlapping each other. Is that the right one? Let me just check myself. Okay. This bird one. It, nope. Yes, yes, sorry. There's just not a bird on my sample in front of me. It's, it's the flowers. Ignore Jennifer's confusion. Um, I'm not actually laying these exactly how they're going to finally be there. I just want to know positioning. So they're kind of going to be like that, but not exactly, of course. And they're going to be within the paper. I'm going to grab my stamp and seal adhesive to attach these. And so I'll pick up the ones that are on the bottom as they do overlap each other and start from the bottom up. So I'm tucking this right uh, granny apple green strip back under everything. And it's at an angle higher on the top right, lower on the bottom left, uh, bottom right. It is a portrait shape card. Then I'll do the left granny apple green one. I feel like I haven't done a video in forever, but I have. Like, I think it was last Thursday. Normally, I go live on Thursdays, but with the holidays, I just wanted to be able to get this done so that I can use the rest of the week to catch up on my shopping, which I'm going to finish today. How are you guys doing with all that? And then I have wrapping, and then, you know, family is here, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I wanted to do the video today instead of tomorrow. So thank you for everyone who could be here. If you're watching for the first time ever, welcome. Don't forget, you can comment on the video. You can uh, share it and comment that you shared. And those two things will get you entered to win these cards we're gonna that I'm making right now. <laughs> There's four of them today. And hopefully you can see I'm just laying these back and forth. You know, one goes higher to the right, the next one goes higher to the left, or back and forth. I don't know how to say those that properly, but they're just back and forth and overlapping each other. And each one is a different pattern. So it's just laying strips of designer paper on top of your card base, which is granny apple green. Okay. Easy. And then we die cut, of course, from my favorite dies, Potted Succulents in the annual catalog. We die cut the long skinny label from another piece of the designer paper. This one has little dots on it in all the colors I named earlier. And they're like um, if you took a fine point pen and made a dot and then scribbled a dot, scribble, fine point, etc. So this label will go on the bottom left on Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'll use my mini Stampin' Dimensionals like always. I will put three on this label. So it's mostly a decorative element and I'll show you how the greeting is going to go on it. Um, so it's over here to the left, almost to the left edge of the card and about half inch to three fourths of an inch from the bottom. 
Um, but the greeting is not just going to go in the middle of it like it normally would. It's going to go over here to the right. It's like sticking off the right side of it. So it's half on, half off. So I'll put adhesive on the left back of the greeting because that's the part that will be sticking to the raised up label. And then I will place, I don't know why I put these away, a mini Stampin' Dimensional on the right side and that will go just half on, half off right there. And then last but not least, uh, thank you, Linda. Like I said, check out the back of that mini catalog, that celebration brochure, I should say, um, because that's where this idea is totally from. It's changed a little, but that's where it's from. Um, so we pre-cut the ribbon, of course. This is the basic black glittered organdy ribbon from our annual catalog. And so we pre-cut it due to it being an event. And so you will get to see right now that this size works. So we're going to make a bunny ear bow. We have two bunny ears, um, one in each hand. Each loop is between my thumb and forefinger and all my fingers are pointing at me so that the ribbon isn't twisted and turned. It's all flat, flat, flat. And then I cross oh, lots of space in between the two loops, by the way, and of course two tails. Then I cross my right loop over my left and then push that right one down into the rabbit hole and pull. Um, this ribbon does shed glitter, but it's large, chunky glitter. So it's kind of easy to clean up, but that's earlier. I kept swiping stuff like this and that's what it was. It's this, <laughs> it's doing it right now. It's shedding chunks of large glitter because it's so gorgeous. And we have this in white now too, this ribbon. Love it. Okay, so there we go. I'll just make my ends, my tails match. Very good. And then mini glue dot this. I just remembered I forgot to file my nails today. So they look horrible. Whenever I hold something up close, don't look at my nails. Um, place the embellishment on the dot so, you, the, so that you don't make it unsticky with your fingers. Play, and then just pull it off and place that on your project. So the bow is at the top left of that label. Okay, there it is. Hope you like it. Pretty bow. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> hey, Julie. No problem. Catch you later. Thank you, Linda. Okay, so there is the card. I love those colors. I love the colors in this designer paper. Um, and where's the other one? This is the one, the sample I had at the team meeting. So there we go. First card. Next up, and you can win those, of course, today by commenting. Don't forget. This card has a basic white card base. These are all cards, by the way, just all regular cards. Um, basic white, five and a half by eight and a half. So let me go ahead and fold that. And I didn't say, but the reason I like to use the bone folder is it will, your fold will be less wrinkled on the inside than if you just use your finger. Then the next layer is basic black four by five and a fourth. Then we have a piece of the designer paper three and three fourths by five. And it is, the design I'm using is fresh freesia with white, like paint splatters, but small ones, or like the stamps we have that we call splatter stamps. So lots of white dots all over in, in uneven. Uh, inconsistent just like you splattered it. The back has pale papaya with black and white flowers but we're using the other side. This is actually a landscape shape card. Then I have another separate piece of designer paper that's a different design that has that is fresh freesia with white not the same one yeah with white like sprigs solid ones and then detail flowers in black. Hopefully that makes sense. This piece is, find my ruler, one and a fourth by five inches. So it's going to go straight across the center there and it's as wide as the other designer paper. Then from Tasteful Labels dies, I pre-die cut a 
or we, <laughs> Landa, a basic white label from Tasteful Labels dies. They're in the annual catalog. And then we have more black ribbon, but we'll black glittered organdy, but we'll be using it a different way. Okay, so on this card, we're going to stamp the bird image. So it is a bird. Um, these are outline images, so you can color them in if you like. Grab my ink pad. It's a bird on a branch, which y'all will tell me what kind of flowers these are. But it's a branch that has flowers and leaves on it. So I'm going to ink it up on memento black. So I'm pressing firmly since it's memento and repeatedly. And then I will just stamp that bird right on there. Now, uh, with photopolymer stamps, if you don't have a very hard, firm table surface, just use our stamp and pierce mat under. So you would put your paper on there and then stamp and it will be, uh, your image will come out a lot cleaner, just like mine does. Um, if your table surface is messing you up. I just remembered something I forgot to show. So I'm going to show this real quick. Um, I meant to show this when I was talking about host code. This is where you add the host code. So above the word checkout in pink on the right, you see add host code. And that's where you do that. And that is for when you're placing online orders that a host code applies. Um, after you do that, if it hasn't shown already, my name or whoever your demonstrator's name should show up. So, sorry, but that just crossed my mind that I didn't show that. And I went to all that work to create that graphic. So, um, now I used Memento Black because I want to color this in with Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based markers. And I also want to share with y'all today my new storage solution for my blends. Now, I'm sure most of you don't have as many blends as me, but I have, I'm going to count real quick. I have about seven of these. <laughs> so I have a lot, but it, it is a container I got from Amazon and it's for paper actually. I want to show you how well it holds our blends. So see how I'm flipping this and they're not turning now, if you just have a few in here, they might roll and turn. But the solution I needed was um, I have multiples of every color because I do in-person events where I need to supply these to multiple people. And sometimes they can dry out during a class or we might need more than one because there's a lot of people basically and we don't want them to have to wait. So I researched measurements basically and and found these so if you want them want to get some for yourself go to my blog stamptherapist.com it's right up here let me see if i can point correctly right there stamptherapist.com and then click on you know links to some stuff i use in amazon whatever i call it and you'll find a link to these but um and then deanna organize them all my blends for me because like I said I have like what six or seven of these full by greens blues by sh color shades instead of stamping up families or whatever so that I can quickly find what I need now of course I label mine with a label maker which is also in my Amazon store um, because reading that tiny handwriting for me that tiny print is a whole thing and it takes me forever to find what I need so I need Granny Apple Green Light for this card, so I thought I would leave it in here to show you that. And then these just snap closed. Like I said, they're they're listed like they're to hold paper in the um, on Amazon. Anyway, hopefully <laughs> Martha needs it. Yes, Kathy, I think the stamp and pierce map might be temporarily unavailable. Um, I can look real quick. But don't worry, it's coming back. Um, sorry, I'm trying to remember where to look. Inventory status, not orderable. Um, okay, yes, it's temporarily unavailable until approximately January 24th. But it is coming back. So when you go to order anything, if it says, I think the, they say, 
not orderable, nine times out of 10, that means it will come back. It's just not orderable right now. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, so, and Jeanne says maybe a magnolia flower for this flower here. So, y'all can picture that. <laughs> Um, okay, so Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based markers, so you want to use a water-based ink, which is what Memento is. I'm going to use my fine tip here of my Granny Apple Green Light and just color in the stem of the branch, which you could use a brown as well, but I used green. And then these leaves are actually, it stamps a solid leaf, like so it'll be black. If you use black ink, but then the veins are no ink. They're white because I stamped on white paper. So I'm coloring those veins granny apple green as well. Um, but, and it will bleed through. Use the fine tip because it's skinny. But alcohol markers, they give you a super smooth application. So I'm using um, Pale Papaya Light for the flower centers. And I just chose colors from the designer paper, so that's so simple. Then my bird is Pool Party. So for that, I have the dark and light. We sell them that way, $9 for a set of two. And for the, so first I'm going to, I'm going to blend. So first I'm going to take the dark Pool Party and add detail. And I'm just making the wings darker, basically, because that's where Stampin' Up! added some lines. Maybe I'll make. Do a little dark right there on the stomach. And then I want to work quickly and go ahead and get to my light pull party. And when I add that, I'm going over the dark section, which is the blending portion that blends the two together. And it will erase this harsh line that you might be able to see on the screen right now from, or like here on the belly. My light pull party is getting dry these are a consumable product so that very tip is a little dry so i switched to my fine point um, to finish coloring this in but so hopefully you saw that where you could see at first the dark line where i had drawn on the belly but now it's disappeared but yet there's still a shadow there now with stamp and blends you can go back and color more and more and more it never breaks down your paper it just bleeds through no big deal um, you can add more dark if you like. You can pick up some color with your color lifter, which gives you some lightness. There's a lot more you can do than what I do because I'm very simple. So for the flowers, I'm going to do the same thing. Add dark in sort of the center here where these lines are coming out from the flower. I'm using fresh freesia dark and then light for the whole thing to blend it. And... I had another comment about blends. What was it? <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me think. <laughs> light, dark. You can go dark to light. I mean, light to dark instead. There's not really a right and wrong. Oh, the lid. That's what it was. Um, I'm slipping that lid back on every time because these dry out super fast, just like a Sharpie. Now, if you put your lid back on every time, you're good to go. You can tell how old some of mine are. But if you leave it laying open, it will dry out because it's alcohol-based. So that's evaporating as we speak. <laughs> so you're good to go while you're coloring. Just put that lid on when you're finished. So if you're doing a lot of blending, I would slip it on between, you know, markers, just like that. I just leave it. I don't snap it shut, but I leave it on there when I'm not using it. Okay, so there we go. Colored in. All pretty. Super easy. I love Stampin' Blends. Okay, then to put this together, it's, oh, I did forget something. There is a stamping portion, another stamping portion on this card. Um... And I can't remember if this is one of the ones. Let me look in my catalog if I copied this from the catalog or not. So on page 12 and 13, there's samples. Well, only on page 13. This is not. So this is the one I designed. <laughs> but the other two that I'm going to make next are on this on page 13 in the in the celebration brochure. 
Okay, so in this stamp set, there's a nice little splatter stamp. So I'm going to stamp some splatter on here in Fresh Freesia ink. And so I'm going to stamp it at the top left, kind of above the bird. So I inked it once and stamped it a few times. And then same thing on the so down here on the bottom right a little bit just to add like just to fill in that space basically on all that white love a good splatter stamp so we get another one in this stamp set which is a free with purchase stamp set y'all know how i got mine free with purchase <laughs> okay now, what I was going to say is um, it's pretty easy to put together. I just need to add this ribbon. So for this ribbon, I, let's see, I'm going to use one of these rolls of new stuff just to show you. I'm going for that effect where you have ribbon. I never know what you call this, but you roll it back and forth on behind your card. And it looks like that on the front. So pretty but you waste so much ribbon when you do it this way. So we're doing this exact effect, but with two little strips of ribbon instead. It's that black glittered organdy. So I want it in the top left and bottom right corner. So that's where I'm going to place some stamp and seal. And I may need to place a little more as I go, but in the top left and bottom right corners on the back, I put adhesive. Um, and then Landa, cut these we both she and I cut these the same exact way um, we always cut one end pointed and one end straight and this is about three and three-fourths inches of ribbon so two pieces three and three-fourths so you take your ribbon and you zigzag it I guess zigzag is the word so that it's up down up the, the straight edge is down. You can make it pointed if you want. I just, we don't for some reason. Um, the straight one is down. And I'm going to look at the front of my project and smash this into the that adhesive that I already placed there from the back. And if I don't like it, which actually I don't because I want this more at an angle, I peel it back off and adjust it. But that's how you do this. You save so much ribbon. And actually, to me, it's easier to get the design I want, basically. Um, now, I'm going to stick this one little flap down a little bit more. And then you do the same thing on the other end. Just remember, always look at it from the front because that's where it matters. It doesn't matter how it looks on the back matters how it looks on the front and that looks good to me I'm not gonna worry it's a little popping up right there but I'll secure that with Stampin Dimensionals so where are they right here my mini Stampin Dimensionals so I'm gonna place them overlapping that ribbon see secures it down and then of course balance it out with some more dimensionals so I'll do the other two corners and one in the middle. I use less dimensionals than most people. Don't worry, you can use more. Um, so before I can put that on, I need to glue all my cardstock together. So I'm going to add my one and a fourth inch strip of designer paper right across the center of the larger designer paper and attach that to the basic black. You can see I'm not using very much adhesive with, with stamp and seal, you don't need very much because it's super strong and then I'll place this black on my card base and then I'm not over here checking the time because last week my video went so long I think I'm good I just feel very hungry today so it feels later <laughs> but it's only 10 something um and I said this already but I normally go live at 9 a.m central on Thursday not Wednesday and I believe I'll be back next Thursday I don't think there's a problem with that but I always email and post okay so I'm just going to place this bird to the left side of the card centered on that middle strip of designer paper and that is it that is the card so I hope you guys like that 
I'll bring in my original so as a close up here. I just think this stamp set's going to be so fun to work with and the designer paper. And of course, the paper doesn't have to be used with that stamp set. Um, thank you, Kathy. Hey, Valley Chick. Good morning. Oh, Catherine's on, ooh, on the road on your way to Virginia. Are you driving or flying, Catherine? Thank you, um, Jackie and Sarah. Thank you guys so much. Carol's asking Margaret where in Rhode Island. Uh, oh, Carol, good question. How many sets of lens? So I'll just count how many it holds. Let me put that one back well, since she asked. Because <laughs> um, I don't even know because I have so many. It's not like it's a set. I mean, you know what I mean? But anyway. Um, and I don't know. Okay, let's just count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah. So that's seven and seven. So 14 sets or 28 blends. Hopefully that answers that question. And you get four of these in a pack. I got lucky because I have bought them before to see if they fit because I knew I could return them to Amazon if they didn't. Uh, and they did. So I knew I needed more. You get four. So I guess I own eight, but I didn't use them all. Anyway. Um, during the Amazon Prime sale, they were on sale, so I got a second set for cheaper, but now they're back. It's 20-something dollars. I don't remember the exact price, but for four of them. Okay, so there is card number two. The next one, again, the, these next two are inspired from the mini catalog samples, but also they showed us this tip at our Stampin' Up! convention, so I'm going to I will um, tell you all about that when I make that part as well. I'm going to be using the In Color Jewels on this, the 2021 to 2023 In Color Jewels, but I've already got mine here because, of course, in a class packet, we cut them for you. This was the team meeting packet for December that's optional to buy, but it's greatly discounted from normal class prices. So we're making Valentine stuff in January. Okay, so eight and a half by five and a half card base, fold that in half with the bone folder. Then I have a layer. This is the same polka dot designer paper that that label was die cut from on the very first card, but it's four inches by five and a fourth just to go on the front of the card. Then we uh, land a die cut for us, a stitched shapes. I mean, sorry, not stitched. It was just a post about that this morning. Stitched rectangles or rectangle stitch dies. It's actually gone by both names over the history of its existence. Anyway, just type in rectangle and you'll find it. It's three inches by four and uh, three eighths after it's die cut and it's vellum cardstock. I believe those dies are temporarily not available. So if you see not orderable in the store, you know it's temporary, but I believe those are one of the temporarily not available dies. Okay, and then we also have land a pre die cut from layering circles to circles here. So this there's a regular circle that is one and five eighths inches. And then the circle that go the, I'm sorry, the scallop circle that fits right behind it, super tight. She cut both of those in basic white cardstock for us. And then on paper, last but not least, this is cut, hand cut loosely from our designer paper. It's a section. So let me show you that sheet. If I remember, oh, where did I throw the paper? Um, it's a full sheet uh, that has these designs all over it. And I think you can get five out of one sheet if you want to cut them off and do what we're going to do. But it's a full sheet, so it looks, you know, you would never think they need to be used individually until you cut one out. So Landa just went through and loosely cut around them for each person's packet. And see, 
for this card, you cannot use the ones that are cut off on the edges. So I think you get five, one, two, three, four, five that are full. Um, but what is cool about this is Stampin' Up! designed this particular designer paper to exactly match with the double flower image from the stamp set. So you can add detail on top of that if you choose or leave it as is. The leaves, I'm, I didn't end up using the leaves on this design, the stamp set, um, but they are not an exact match like the flowers are. But I, in the book, they did stamp these leaves on top of the leaves here. I chose not to. It wasn't an exact match, but I'll show you what I did do. Now, this little image here, it's like berries, is an exact match. So, anyway, I will show you what I did. So, this is the one I used. Um, Evening Evergreen is my green. But apparently, I should have used shaded spruce. Because I didn't read. Okay, so, for my stamping... On this regular circle, I'm going to put my greeting in Fresh Freesia. And all these stamps are from Friendly Hello. This says, you, you have my love and support. And so it's kind of a, well, the words are all on top of each other. So that's why it fits in that circle. You have my love and support. And then... On the designer paper in Evening Evergreen, I'll add these flowers. So, again, it is an exact match if you really want to line it up. You have to figure out which direction. Um, and depending on how good your eyesight's doing that day, don't stress if it's off. Um, but right on top of there, boom. Isn't that cool? They showed this at on stage. That's what I was going to say, like on a different card. But I was like, ah, I need to write that down. Okay, so I did that. Then there is just this stamped image of sort of a some stems with leaves attached to it. Smaller kind of image. So we're going to ink that up in Evening Evergreen and just stamp one right on top of the white, different sized, same image coming out from between the two flowers. So it's we're just adding more detail to this image. And then last but not least, there is a white image on this designer paper of these little berries. This is an exact match. I have to move it down so I can see. Um, and so I'm stamping that right on top of that. There we go. Now I get to hand cut this out. So I do have to do that real quick. I usually try not to hand cut but on screen, I should say, but it's fine. It's just one image today. So we did cut around the entire image. You can kind of go in to the little, where it goes in, areas as much or little as you want, of course, when you're hand cutting something out. Make sure you're turning your paper with your other hand. So for me, my left, instead of turning the scissors when you're going around a corner. Also, try to keep your try to keep cutting as long as you can, which is what I'm doing right now, before you open the scissors again and cut again. That gives you smoother cuts. I call them long cuts <laughs> instead of little short cuts. And I'll try to keep thinking of things to say as I'm doing this. <laughs> I am cutting off the little splatter dots. This is on, so the designer paper is granny apple green, and then all the images are white. And the green is not a perfect solid. It's kind of distressed granny apple green. But um, there are like splatters and things around it in white as well. well of course, we're cutting those off. It would look kind of silly. We're just cutting out the flowers and leaves and berries only. But we are it's all one image. So I'm not like cutting each flower individually, etc. Of course, at some point you can cut off a chunk if you like. Especially if those are getting in your way, definitely do that. 
And if you stamp first, like I did, then you'll be able to cut around your stamped images as well. Instead of those getting cut off because you cut around the white. And I would see if y'all have comments, but if I look at the screen, I can't cut because I have to look at the paper. So that's not going to help me. Um, I'm going to have my husband look because we, with my microphone not working last week, we had to do a bunch of stuff to this software to fix it for to figure out the problem. And long story short, my camera, <laughs> this camera here got disconnected and I had to reinstall it. From the software and we had modified it before to make sure it wasn't stretched on the screen so tell me if you think this these stamping like while I'm showing you the stamping projects if it looks like it's a little distorted tell me so I can tell him I can't I thought it was okay but now today I'm like is it distorted or am I just freaking out about that but um, he may need to go in and do some more or re-add the modifications we had done last time. Technology is super frustrating sometimes. So like here, I didn't stamp exactly perfectly when I stamped my flowers, so I'm cutting around my stamped image instead of the white, because then otherwise I'd be cutting off part of what I stamped. Okay, Woo! got it all cut. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Just drop something. Um, okay, so now we have all our pieces and we're ready to assemble. Let me go ahead and attach this designer paper to the card base. This card is going to be portrait. But I'm not wrapping anything around this designer paper, so I will attach that. Let me check those comments, by the way. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, y'all are saying it looks good. Okay, good. Because I feel like it does look stretched out a little bit. I just don't know. But I'm glad y'all think it looks good because that's what matters. Okay, next I'm going to add my flowers at an angle on this vellum with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to flip that over, of course, and add some dimensionals here on the back of my hand cut out flowers. So there's about one, two, three, four, five, six on the edges and one in the center. And then it goes at an angle. Top right is higher, bottom left. I mean top, it's angled to the top right and then at the bottom on the left. Oh, let me take that back off. I missed a step. Okay, uh, what I meant to do, I'm going to take a couple of these dimensionals off, is add this ribbon. So this is another ribbon trick because I was being lazy, but it's not the same one I just did, but it's similar. So for this ribbon, I'm going to add adhesive at the top and top. It's the top of the leaves and then the bottom sort of left section here. Is it left? Yeah. Just my tape runner. And then we have two very short ribbons. They are about three inches. And then Landa cut one with pointy ends and one with straight ends. So the straight ends go at the top and all we're going to do is fold it over and make a loop. And uh, place it in the back and then the bottom one we're going to sort of make another loop except we're so the loop is what's showing on the top here we put the two loose ends stuck down to the back of the cardstock up here or on the bottom we're going to attach the loop to the cardstock in the back and have the tails that are angled sticking out does this make sense <laughs> So the effect is, again, if I wanted to waste all this ribbon and put it behind my project like that, I could, but I don't. I want to use two little bitty pieces and trick everybody, and it's perfectly fine. I think I will modify how I placed the top one. 
a little bit, but no big deal. So you can keep messing with your placement of your ribbon as much as you want. Okay, now add the dimensionals. So I just need a couple more on top of this ribbon, which I always do to secure it down, even if it is super secure. Let me add one back here. I wasn't, I couldn't remember where my ribbon was going to go. Okay. So add the ribbon, then you can place that on your card. Now I'm going to attach this vellum flat to my card front. But what I'm going to do now is turn it over backwards so I can see everywhere this designer paper is. And that's where I'll put some adhesive so that that shiny adhesive doesn't show in the front on my vellum. So it's hidden behind that designer paper. So this just gets centered in the middle of the card there. Then I will add my stamped circle flat to my scallop circle. Then add a couple of dimensionals on that. Do top and bottom. And then uh, this greeting is going to go up here on the top right, sort of, well, not sort of, definitely covering up part of your leaves and flowers and hanging off the right of them as well. Okay. Oh, almost done. My little jewels here. They are the Fresh Freesia. I'll grab my Take Your Pick tool, pointy end. You could use the paddle. I like the pointy. Put your finger on top of your jewel to prevent it from flying across the room. Dig up under there and attach it to your Take Your Pick tool. Um, I'll put a large one up here in the top right of I mean, top left of my vellum, and then a couple of small ones down here on the bottom right of my vellum. I think in our event, everybody just got random. You might have gotten three small, you might have gotten three large, or any combination like this. But anyway, there's that card. Hope y'all like it. And it's... um from the catalog, like I said, I can't remember how much I changed it, but it's a sample in the catalog. So don't forget to use those as your inspiration or just straight up copy them. All right, one more card to go. Usually I only do three cards, by the way, if you're new here. But I figured I've got this paper cut already. I might as well make all four. This one I think will be pretty quick and simple. <clears throat> And my envelope's over here. Let me grab. I'm gonna need these flowers again, these flower stamps. So I want to clean them with my Simply Chamois. I did wash it out this morning, rinse it out and squeeze it so it's nice and wet. You just wipe your stamps on there, scrub them in there real good. I always tap it on scratch paper when I'm done to make sure it's clean and dry. Um, your thing, your chamois gonna get all stained like this. That's fine. Just rinse it in water when there's too much ink in there. Squeeze till it runs clear, or you can even put it in your washing machine um, and keep reusing it. It'll dry out when you're not using it. That's what we want it to do. We don't want it to get all moldy, so keep it not airtight. And these cases are sold separately in our catalog and online store if you want those. Okay, five and a half by eight and a half basic white card base. So just get that set aside. This is another one inspired by the catalog, but the one in the catalog was a different size card, so I just changed mine. Then we have Fresh Freesia, four by five and a fourth. We have a pre die cut basic white label from Stitched So Sweetly dies. And then we have a gold foil butterfly I believe these are the Brilliant Wings dies. Again, supply list will be on the blog, which is listed right here in the video, or it's shown, I'm sorry, on the video, stamptherapist.com. Um, that'll be later today. And then two pieces of designer paper that are one and a fourth by about three or three and a fourth inches. But then we took, let me grab mine, these 
tailored tag punch. Landa pre did this for everybody. And just slipped the paper into the punch and squeezed to get that banner end. So it's a pale papaya piece and a pool party piece of ribbon there. I mean, designer paper there. And last but not least is a piece of the pool party sheer ribbon from our annual catalog. Okay, so I'm going to stamp on the Fresh Freesia cardstock the, let's see where I put that scratch paper, the flowers. So they're just kind of a background on here. This is where I could use Versamark if I didn't have Fresh Freesia ink, by the way, or if I just wanted to. Um, and it would give me a very similar effect. So I'm going to put a couple in the top right hand corner here. And then my greeting's going to go there. And so a couple right to the sort of bottom left of the label, the greeting. That's it. Simple. And then my greeting will say, hello, friend. I love this stamp from this stamp set. And I'm just using Memento Black. It's also, we know it's water-based for our Stampin' Blends, but it's also my favorite black ink if I just need black, and it's um, for photopolymer, it's your best choice for black. Stays on, does not play well with photopolymer stamps. Of course, use the foam mat if you don't have a good table surface, like I do. Hello, friend. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, I was gonna say we carry Memento Black ink refills. So, let me go ahead and attach my, <laughs> there was all kinds of trash stuck to my adhesive thing here. My stamp and seal, I'll attach my Fresh Freesia cardstock to the card base. Then these little banners are going to go behind, or they're going to be coming out from under the greeting. So, I'll just kind of use my greeting. I'm not going to attach it yet, but I'll use it as a sort of a placement guide and I'll have the pool party banner overlapping on top of the papaya and they're kind of at a V shape and I'm just going to add some adhesive here to both of them and slip them where I want them behind this greeting that's not really attached yet. Then I'll add Stampin' Dimensionals to my greeting. I'll just do four. I'm glad I'm doing good, better on time today. I think I just talked too much last week. Well, plus I got a, had to restart, but anyway. And then a dimensional, let me just bend this butterfly up a little bit, give it some shape. Look how that mini dimensional fits right there in that one spot on this die cut gold foil butterfly. So it's gonna go right in the corner of the greeting, bottom left-hand corner, there's a blank spot, so that's perfect. And then another bunny ear bow with my pool party sheer ribbon. Love this ribbon. So pretty. It's going to match with this whole suite um, really well in January. So if y'all have any questions about anything from today, let me know. You can join my email newsletter. You can go to my blog. There's lots of information there. Um... I actually added a link, by the way, to join the paper shares in the description of this video because I'm not taking money yet, so I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> um, so you don't even have to pay for the shares, by the way, if you sign up now. You pay later. I'll bill you for it. And uh, mini glue dots for this bow. But anyway, any questions on any of my stuff? And then, of course, I'll bring the camera back up in a second. I'm going to put this bow kind of just right below the greeting to the right there. I actually like the bow on my other card better. So I'm going to give this card away if, if you're the winner. Instead, oh, is my camera frozen? Let me wait. It froze. Okay, it's unfrozen. I don't know what happened. If you win, I'll give you this card because I like that bow a lot better, don't y'all? Ugh. Sometimes bows just come out different. Who knows why? I made both of these cards. Um, anyway, I forgot where I was because of that whole freezing thing. If you are the winner today, you will win these four cards I just made using Friendly Hello Bundle. 
By the way, when you look at my pictures on my blog, I took a collage picture like this. And then I was so in a rush, I didn't go back and fix it. This card is sideways. <laughs> the collage picture. I figure if people who don't know me see it, it can create interest and maybe it'll make them click on something. But <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. Um, so all this stuff is coming out. Um, I think I was, yeah, I'll, I'll bring the thing back up to my face so I can say goodbye. Wish you guys happy holidays and Merry Christmas. But before I do that, I have a couple of extra samples that I've shown already, but you know, in a different context. Um, so these are the ones you can have a chance to win just by commenting on the video or sharing the video and comment, commenting that you shared or both. You'll get double entries basically if you do both. Just make sure you say you shared because Facebook and YouTube don't tell us who did that. Um, these are from, this one is, oh, what's this one? Oh, this is from Pat Coates, I believe. And this one's from Robin Barnes. So Pat gave me this and Robin participated in the team meeting swaps. And I just saw you on here, Robin. Um, hello. Anyway, aren't these gorgeous? They both chose the pool party, you know, color scheme. I like how Pat just added some light pool party, not fully coloring in. Hopefully you can see that color on this image. So looks great to me. Um, just a couple of additional samples there. I will have lots more samples in a couple of weeks because I'm participating in a card swap. Um, it looks like there is a, uh, I'm just saying there's a comment on here from someone named Betty that has a link. Don't click on that. I'm sure that's spam. I'll delete it when I get finished. Um, if that's real, Betty, you need to make another comment because it's so sketchy to click on links nowadays. Um, okay. So, Thank you guys. Let me go back on these comments here. Simone, no problem. You can definitely catch replay. Hey, Tammy, thank you. Thanks, Pat. Love stamping on the DSP. Thank you, Terry. Yeah, K Kathy, I for sure would not have thought of stamping on DSP if not for the Stampin' Up! convention where they told us about it because, you know, y'all know I'm not that creative. And you guys are saying that it doesn't look stretched out. So that's good to me. Like I'm looking at it on my iPad and it does look stretched out, but who knows? Rhonda's falling in love with this paper. Awesome, Rhonda. Um, hey, Cindy, thank you very much. Robin loves this bundle and these cards. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for sharing. All right. I don't know how I look right now, but let's come back up here. <laughs> and um, I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Although I think I'll see you before New Year's because um, if I'm, let's see what the dates are. Let me look at my calendar. I got it. Yeah, so I think I'll see you on December 30th unless I'm too busy, but I think I'll be good next week. Um, but anyway, still, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Um, thank you guys for everything this year and your business and liking my videos and watching them and giving thumbs up and hearts and all that stuff. Um, I appreciate you. And if you have any questions on anything, definitely let me know. I will look forward to seeing y'all next week. Thank you, Pauline. And next week I'll get to work with more new stuff. Um, that'll be very exciting as well. So thank you, Pauline. Merry Christmas. Everybody have a good one. I will see you guys later. I'm going to end it in just a sec because apparently it cuts me off if I do it too soon. All right. Bye, everybody.